That's a 12. 12? That's a 14. It's my son. Guess I could. Is he not married? Okay, we need to we need to get this sorted. He's an astute intellectual. Learning plus six. Physician traits just a bonus. Uh, let's let's find him a marriage anyway. Find a spouse. Let's go for alliance power. Someone not someone who's forty five. Preferably of childbearing age. Welsh. She's just, she's humble, she's honest, she's got a stutter. Okay, forget about Lion's Power. What about Prestige Gain then? What can we do with this? 36? Damn, people get married off so quickly. Um, is that the same one? Okay, that'll do. We shall get that line going a bit further. Um, hmm. A lazy physician, what can go wrong? I'm sure absolutely nothing. Alliance formed. Okay. You can lock a new perk for stewardship. I certainly will. And I can ransom someone. Okay, this is look, looks like we're going down this one now. That's good. Count Oton. Pays 50. I think I'll have that. Thank you very much. Right, bit of cash. This is good. What's the cheapest mercenaries? They're about 176, I think, aren't they? The Band of the Horn. 130. Okay, it's cheaper than I remember. It's the Gaelic band I've had before. 857. Oh, nice. Okay, I might hire some mercenaries when we go to war. I could ask the Pope. I don't see any other particular downside to asking the Pope for cash all the time. I mean, he does like me. We'll ask for gold. And we'll use it to go straight to war. Straight to war. Yes, I will use this, well, very wisely. Right, you, son. Haha. -ha. Declare war. I'm pushing that claim. Just, just slow that down a bit. Right, so we need to raise the armies. Raise all armies. I'm going to recruit some mercenaries. We'll get the Band of the Horn. Higher. How do we call allies? There's got to be a quick way of calling allies to this, right? Can we not do it from here? Plus allies. I thought that would just say so. Surely I can deal with this, right? Okay. Should be call to war. Is there not a button that says call all allies to war? Here we go. Oh, I haven't sent that, okay. Lord Mayor. Yep, yeah, go on. Call them all. This is an important one. <laughs> uh, you can call your house member. Earl... Can I? Call a house member to war. I have a house member? Of Dorset? How did that happen? I don't know. I can ransom Matilda Flariero. Sure, ransom her. Who else is sitting in a bloody prison? Hang on a minute. Yep, ransom him. He's been in prison for two years for a favour. My dynasty has got around a bit. The first the first lot spread out far and wide. We did a good job. Yes, excellent. They're all coming in. Excellent. Bring them in. Send the whole lot in down here. Let's go and trash the guy before any reinforcements arrive. I hope. Here comes the armies. He's going to run off, of course. Can I not? Come on, we're going to try and chase them. If I can, if I can cut one off. 
Hang on. Looks like I'm going to have to... I'm chasing them around in bloody circles here. Big fight. Go on, this, this, this could be a kill or cure sort of situation. We're winning, and here come the allies. It's nice to have friends in this game. It makes such a difference. Betrothed can marry. Oh, I... Sure. How do I click the button then? I don't need to arrange the marriage. I just want to say... Oh, send for quote brothers. Cool. Let's go and smash them some more. That is a pretty, pretty juicy win right there. Oh god, here comes the big army though. Where have all my allies gone? I need to I need to cut this guy up. Here they come, 13,000 from France. <laughs> I think I'll get involved, but I'll wait till the big 13,000 army gets stuck in first. Besiege the place. Hey, it's nice to have friends. Yep, get stuck in there. We've captured Petty King Rusherif's son. Nice. That's going to help a massive chunk. Okay, you chase the big guy down. I'll go and besiege the castle. So far, so good. Slaughter. Who the hell is this coming? Oh, it's okay. Panic over. I need to start making some claims into this as well. Wealth aplenty. Oh, am I supposed to be... Alright, okay. So... Gold and silver. Three potential candidates arrived in Meath. Did any of them impress me? So I can offer patronage. So we can have an immaculate gardens. I think I've had this before, haven't I? Religious art. Funding natural philosophy. I like the sound of. Development growth. I'm going to go for that. This war should be over pretty soon. France has come to ensure your inheritance. You will get some inheritance. What have we won? I think we've won. And we've got an empty council position. So I'm going to enforce demands. So be it. So I gain the petty kingdom of Leinster. Which is fantastic. So let's just uh, disband. Well, I don't need to disband the mercenaries. But I do need to disband the big... That one. Yeah. The mercenaries can hang around. I mean they've been they've been paid for, so they might as well might as well enjoy life for a bit in Dublin. Just in case anyone attacks. Yeah, the goal is now to take the rest of Ireland, so we need to get a new steward. Do I not have a good steward left? Okay. Okay, we, we are marrying a steward. Who's this person? This is my guess. She has a county claim, but what county is it? County of Montpellier. Uh, I'm not interested in that. Recruit to court. I don't think she's particularly useful. Unless I can use her to... Ah, uh, no, that might be a good idea. Go on then, I'm going to recruit her to court. Because I'm going to instantly use her to get married. Where's she gone? Oh, she's, is she married? Oh, well. <laughs> she's betrothed. Damn it. Can I tell her to break the betrothal? Don't think there's any downside to me. Break that betrothal. Right. Thank you. Let's find you a spouse. He might have been really good, actually, but... Uh, well, here's his chance to come back, right? It's going to be matrilineal, this, of course. Rudolf and Birkenbach is 55. I'm going to go for the younger guy who's going to be around longer. Uh, 21. Oh, this one. 
Melancholic? I don't think so. Stubborn, wrathful, brave. You'll do, sir. You'll do. So I'll just make sure that should be... Excellent. Excellent, we have a new steward. <laughs> I always get the wrong buttons going up here. I am terrible. Congratulations. I should manage my knights a bit better, actually, because I don't want all of them going on. Mind you, he's good. He's a good steward, and he's got good prowess, and so maybe he should. Um, Pan. Needs a bit of work there. They can all go and fight if they want. My Chancellor. Ludwig? No, he's... I don't need him fighting. My Marshal is actually really bad. As a knight. Which isn't the best thing, but anyway. Anyway, that's fine. So, uh, that, was, that was stage one of this. Now start getting me some claims on that. That'll do. Start working this over. So we've got this new... I want this duchy. That's what I want. Are these two different ones? No, they're not. Why am I keeping the mercenaries raised? I don't think they cost me anything, do they? Paid for them, so just keeping them in case I get attacked. As far as I know, it doesn't cost me anything. You you pay the the, the cost and then, and that's it. It's not doesn't seem to work like uh, CK2 did. But if I'm wrong, let me know. And if I happen to get attacked in a couple of years of their contract left, I've got some forces there. It would be typical. I'd disband them and then someone else calls me to war. Yeah, there's a lot of land that needs upgrading. But because of the succession rules, I'm focusing on Dublin because I will I should retain that in the next uh, thing. They won't disappear if you disband them. Their contract will just run out. So why need to disband them then? They don't leave by disbanding them. So what happens if I do that? So they'll stand down and return home. But is there any benefit to doing that? Because as far as I can tell, it's not costing me anything, right? And, or am I missing something with them? Because I, I can't see any benefit to disbanding them once you've paid up front for them. I don't want to claim on the county of West Friesland. I'm not interested in going to getting people. Mind you, it would be an ally. Uh, what's he got then? Claim on the county of West Friesland. Which is where? Can you take me there? Up here? Which is owned by the Baroness. This person who has some powerful allies. I think it might be costing some gold as, as men at arms. They go into your army pool while they're disbanded. Is that right? Okay, well, let's see what happens then. So my army pool is um, 3,200. So if I go smash, 3,800. Okay. But they'll disappear at the end of the contract, I'm going to guess. Knights Templar. That's a lot of soldiers with six knights. Is that what it costs to hire them? Can't be. Oh, I need to be at war with some of the hostile faith. I guess they're not just regular mercenaries. Okay, well, the monthly income's not changed, so it's not many different standing them down. Um, so we're working on a claim over here. It's time to... What did I spend all that money on? Hiring mercenaries? I thought I had 300 a while ago. I guess I, I gave patronage to 
a sculptor or something, didn't they? A philosopher. Nothing that can build up there. We're out in the city. And there's... Oh, I haven't built anything here. Is there anything... 150 for some farms and fields. Pastoral lands. I'll go for... I'll go for the pastoral lands, I think. Hunting grounds. Let's go for this. Uh, there was a quartier lady. Yes, what about it? She had a claim. Will I play more CK3? Yeah, well, I'm going to play this through till the end of the dynasty. That's the plan. Uh, unless something... Unless something goes so horribly wrong that the continuing the game looks not fun. But I'm really enjoying it. And then uh, once we've finished this, uh, it's, it might be something I'll come back to in the future. It depends what other games release. I'm always on the lookout for new games. I'm really looking forward to Medieval Dynasty releasing, but it's, it's in early access at the moment. And I've had a good playthrough, but I want, to, I want that to be finished before I go any further in it. But that might be a year or two off. Uh, I don't know. There's not a lot of games I'm excited about this year. Far Cry 6 I'll, I might have a look at. And I think there's a couple of things at the second half of the year, but they might get pushed back till 2022. It is good fun. It makes it more fun when you name all your, your heirs and family after, the, uh, after you guys as well. Let's speed this up. Faction to install Earl Rushriff of Ossery. Right, okay, so we've got a problem. Let's have a look at the intrigue. Uh, where do we know? Is this up here? Factions? Succession? <laughs> Nicodemus. Oh, God, Nicodemus is in such a state. I'm going to lose a lot of titles on Succession. Which is a real problem. <laughs> I could really not I could really do with somebody else I mean is he he's still in I have no idea why he's in Poland he must have been edu um, recruited as a steward or something factions is the fist with fire ah cheers I've not looked at this there are no factions targeting you and yet I'm sure I just read that there was you can demand payment from uh, why Oh, go on then. Demand payment. I'll have his cash. I had a hook on him. I can declare war on Petty King Scandalan. Why? Do I have a claim on... What are my claims? Objectives. The Earldom of Thormund. I have that counted. Do I have that as a claim? Hmm. Take a look at his status. Does it make sense? Because I know in CK2 it made sense to have claims upon the whole lot than claim the uh, the petty kingdom in this case, or the duchy title. I don't know if that's the case. You should all put a baby Mark GFL in your runs. Now you should, yeah. And then tell me, uh, tell me what happens to him or her. <laughs> I can't kill my brother, unfortunately. That would be a, a good way to get rid of him, but it won't let me. Sure, it happened. Um, so he's got one alliance with this guy who has a huge army. I mean, France would come to my rescue. How can I break that alliance then? Between Duchess who? Oh, I, keep, I never give it long enough. There we go, it's locked. Who is that? Duke Magnus II. It, that must be his... That's all right, that's his sister. So if I try to murder... It's very low. I will gain a lot of stress. Hmm. I can force... Yeah, I can force Nicodemus to be a knight and get him killed there. That seems pretty mean, but it's a good idea.
Hmm. Let's see what the situation with this is, by the way. This is uh, this royal prerogative. It's got 21 months. That's not bad. My guy is now 65. Let me see what happens when we achieve that. I'm going to try and save all my points and everything. We'll play it careful for a bit. And we'll try and maybe upgrade some more soldiers. We are known far and wide. Did I start the murder plan off? I didn't, did I? I'm going to, I'm going to try plotting. I'm going to go for it. I've been overwhelmed by stress. I'll go for recluse again because it seems to work really well. I get the stress down. And it, it does work. It does work. Scheme discovered already. Damn, okay. Well, I'm going to have to cancel that then. That didn't work very well at all. I could then... Let's abandon. And let's kill the husband instead. Murder. Murder. That's not going to work either. Okay. <laughs> Forget that idea. There's a 10% chance of success. I didn't see what the actual... I mean, for it to be discovered so quick before we had a chance to... Um... To, uh, to recruit anyone or anything. I'm not going to start it off, but... But the discovery chance was less than the success chance, and we, we hadn't tried that. What have we got here? I am the rightful lord of the Eldom. Yes, see to it done. I will pay that money out. So I have a claim on two of those areas now. So if I went to war now, I think I could claim the whole... Let's see. My claims. Oh, no, not his claims. I need my claims. Oh, I see. That was that was Earl Rushriff's claim. I don't want anything to do with that. So we need... We need more titles. We're going to put a claim in for this place. Is that the, t that the capital of this? I don't think it matters. Put that in there. Pause before you murder. Murder is a, is a good option in this game. I like it. I need a character that is really focused on it, though, I think. I mean, Ulster might be an easier target at the moment. He's got 800 men, and that would be a much easier target, actually. Uh, we're going to go for large levies. What difference does that instantly make? Not a massive instant difference. I don't know if I have. I don't think I have any claims up in there. The whole thing that's going to matter... Oh, wait, what's this? The Voice of Reason, council meeting between Ludwig and Olken. Okay. All right, it's basically I choose which one I upset. I don't know what it's about. Respect. Find a compromise. I think I'm going to go for the compromise. I failed to find a compromise. Of course. Everybody hates me. All right. This party is boring. Fast Cat Dan has got to be the worst host the world has ever seen. How can mortal man be expected to endure his snoring? celebration of mediocrity. My eyes cast about the room looking for a diversion. Any diversion. Simon gives me a friendly wave from a nearby balcony. I love the idea that all these kings and rulers have just met up and just, uh, you know, on the lash having a feast. It's, uh, it's, it's a really cool image. I imagine that it, it probably wouldn't happen very often that one king would host another. Uh, I imagine all diplomatic relations are just sent via an ambassador, but I don't know. Can I get to know Simon better? I guess I'll just make the best of things. I gain inured to bought. No, I can't do that. Fast Cat O'Fergal loses. Um, Fast Cat Dan O'Fergal loses some opinion of me. Everyone at the party gains opinion of me, and I gain some prestige. Or I can quietly slink away. Hmm. Well, King Simon is. Might be a would be beneficial, maybe. I'm going to get to know him better. King Simon became your friend. Now I can go to war down here, can't I? 
Now I can go to war. That looks much better. So, we've got... Mercenary company contract expiring. That's fine. That's okay. I mean, I think they would have... Oh, hello. Who's he gone to war with? He's gone to war with... He's, he's joined a war in, in Wales, actually. Nice, okay. Let them go over there and get stuck in. My opportunity is about to come, I think. Assuming that war doesn't finish before I get this claim. We might let the cash build up a bit. I can lawfully imprison Gudrun, why? She's an adulterer. Nah. Let her get on. Powerful vassals expect council positions. Ask my head of faith for gold. Yes. <laughs> All the time. Just constant tap the Pope for gold. I'm not sure what you are actually now, Piranha Man. I don't know if you're even still alive, to be quite honest. Were you a sibling? There you are. Okay, you are... Let's see how you've developed. You are still married to Duke William the Foolish of Mercia, which is excellent. Um, you are athletic. That's a nice one to have. You're an athletic recluse interested in writing. Shy, temperate, diligent, and... I'm guessing you're still a homosexual. I can't see the icon for it, but I'm guessing you're st I don't think you've been changed. This would be a good time to nip to war. Uh, enough material. Yes, make the claim. Okay, now I have two claims. I have a load of cash. Now is the time to declare war. Declare war. So I have my claims. I will gain the title. The objectives. Uh, no, wait. I, I have. I have more than one objective. Surely. Well, I had a. I had a claim on that. Can I not? Can I not do both? Wait. Hang on. Can you only declare war for one thing at a time? This is new. I'm sure you were able to declare war for, for several things. Oh, it's a cultural innovation. Right, I'll take... Um, right, before we do that, let me just see which is probably worth the most. 